Ma'asim, Acts 1. The former treatise have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Yahusha began both to do and teach, until the day in which he was taken up. After that he, through the Ruach HaKadesh, had given commandments unto the apostles, whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of Yahuwah, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Yerushalayim, but wait for the promise of the Father, which, said he, ye have heard of me. For Yahukanan, truly immersed with water, but ye shall be immersed with the Ruach HaKadesh, not many days hence, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Adonai, will you at this time restore again the kingdom to Yashara'el? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after that the Ruach HaKadesh is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Yerushalayim, and in all Yahud, and in Shomoron, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and the cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galil, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahusha, which is taken up from you, into heaven shall come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Then returned they unto Yerushalayim from the mount called Olivet, which is from Yerushalayim, a Shabbat's day journey. And when they were come in, they went up into an upper room, where abode both Kepha and Yaakov and Yahukanan and Andrai, Philip and Tamon, rather Taom, Bar, Talmai, and Matid Yahu, Yaakov, the son of Chelef and Shimon, the zealot, and Yahuda, the brother of Yaakov. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Miriam, the mother of Yahusha, and with his brethren. And in those days, Kepha stood up in the midst of the Talmudim and said, The number of names together were about a hundred and twenty. Men and brethren, this scripture must needs have been fulfilled, which the Ruach HaKadesh, by the mouth of David, spoke before concerning Yahudah, which was guide to them 
that took Yahusha. For he was numbered with us and had obtained part of this ministry. Now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity, and falling headlong, he burst asunder in the midst, and all his bowels gushed out. And it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem, insomuch as that field is called in their proper tongue, Akel Dama, that is to say, the field of blood. For it is written in the Sefer of Tehlim, Let his habitation be desolate, and let no man dwell therein, and his ministry let another take. Wherefore, of these men which have accompanied with us all the time that Adonai Yahusha went in and out among us, beginning from the immersion of Yahukanan unto that same day that he was taken up from us, must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection. And they appointed two Yosef called Bartsava, who was surnamed Yaktav, and Matit Yahu. And they prayed and said, You, Yahua, which know the hearts of all men, show whether of these two you have chosen. Then he may take part of this ministry and apostleship from which Yahuda by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. And they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matit Yahu, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles.